Good morning, America. This is Victoria Ajang. This is what happening in this house. This is the house where Ubema have moved him and Salfakir of South Sudan, Salfamatok, a young girl from Nebraska, too many, too many Sudanese women and South Sudanese women from South Sudan, Salfakir wife and all of them Sudanese. They live here in this house. What they are doing is some kind of invisible life. They drink the blood of my children. They eat the meat of my son after they kill him. They kill him in the morning. He's right here where the light is, at this area, right here. This is where I hear his voice. This is where Obama come and drink his blood and Salvakir and Salvamatok, and they kill him in the morning, calling him son of God for the power and light reason, for the telephone reason, for the computer reason, for the electric reason, power and light. You people heard about Jesus. When he died, he didn't die being eaten every day to be killed as a meat and being eaten. Obama moved out from Washington into my house for a number of months, almost a year. Everybody has his, heard his voice in a Walmart. He talked frankly in, in front of people. He can speak to people and everybody can hear his voice. I'm not clean, I'm very mad and I'm going crazy here. So this is where they are. They stay in this house. What they are doing is eating the meat of my son, the meat of my daughter. They kill my children at night and kill me at night. When we resurrect, they come, they come back again in uh, the evening, let me sleep and then kill my children and eat the meat and kill me. I feel the hit in my head and then I cry like I'm dead and then Abraham will lift me up as a, in the spirit. But the meat is gone. I feel the sore pull in my neck and I feel abuses. Their dick are snakes. The dick have something like a tongue in it that they lick people when I'm sleeping down. I sleep right here in this carpet. I left my bed for them because too many abuses. Somebody jumped in my bed at night, lifting me up and dropped me down on a bed. So I left the bed for those reasons and I began to sleep down. It is too many abuses is going on here with my children. They, are, they moved Abram from South Sudan and brought him to this world, Salfakir and Salfamatok and Obama. They are the Kahan. We call them Kahan. The people who killed Jesus. And they call him Jesus. Sometimes they put him here. And he will be talking from this tongue of grass. Sometime, right here. This is what they are doing. They lock him here and then they kill him. I found a bone that they kill him. I cut him in pieces. The bone was in the reef. And I buried the bone right here. At this little cabin right here. I buried the bone right there, the bone of him, and the bone of my son, where they cut him and ate him. I buried the bone right here. And this is what they are doing every day. This is the area where they bring him out and kill him. They kill him right here at this grass. This is my window here. This is where they kill him at this cross. I don't see them, but I can hear their voices. What they are doing is eating the meat of human being. Something invisible that I didn't know that the meat of human being is invisible. It can hide the personality, but you cannot see them, but they can live in your house as invisible. They are violent. They live for a number of years in my house as in violent. In Lenoxa, 8959 Hauser, they broke my shelf of kitchen. They jump violently and broke the shelf of the kitchen. I happened to call the police in that year, and the police witnessed the shelf that they broke. It was like this one's here, but they can stand on it. So this is what's happening. Salfakir, Salfamatok, Ubema of the United States, they are eating my son and kill him as a meat of human being, call him son of God, killing my daughter. When he is dead again, they continue to kill him. They kill him in the morning, Kill him in the evening as a meat, and the child will speak as in the spirit. He can resurrect, and he will tell me, Mom, the body is outside. I left the body for them. Now they are eating the body, and I'm talking to you here as in the spirit. He will talk to me as in the spirit, and I continue praying and praying, almost losing it, going crazy, taking the mental medicine, being diagnosed with schizophrenia because of all these problems. Since 2011 to 2006, these problems have been going on. And uh, 
This is what happened. Obama is not in Washington. The people think that he's in Washington. He's in this house. Now I'm going to shut up and you will lis listen to them. You will hear their voices talking. They live here. Now they move out while I'm making recording of this video. They are over these tree branches. They go to tree branches and stay there. And then when I'm quiet and turn off the camera, they will come back again and talk so many things. But that's what their problem here. They said the reason they are killing Abram, to make Abram be the light, the son of God that is living. For when God created the sun, when God created the earth, there was the first day when he said, let there be light. I'm not a very good religious, but I'm Christian. I'm a Catholic. Uh, when God said, let there be light, and there was a light, it turned out that to be Obama who's killing my son and self -Akir, and he's the father of the child, who is the father of my son, it turned out to be mentally sick and eating meat with self -Akir and self -Amapo and self Obama. They are eating meat of Abraham, calling him son of God. And now, they keep killing him to keep the light on. They don't want the darkness saying that. Which means they are the people from long time ago. They might be heroes from the book of all people. I don't even know who are these people. I am not Mary. I don't have any powers. I don't have any miracles in me. If Abraham, in case if he was Jesus, I would have some kind of powers. But I don't have no powers. The only thing I have with me is the telephone. The telephone in which if I did not charge or I for some reason became poor, the vehicles will not start. Another thing is the computer, of which I back up the computers of everyone, of every office. And I'm just poor as I am. This is where I'm poor. This sofa here is under Lynn. I'm renting it from some place, from rental, from rent center, rental area. I have nothing. I'm a poor person. I don't even have a car. And they are still killing my children for nothing. This TV is almost 10 years. It's 20, since 20. 2006, 2006, this TV, that's when it was bought. I have nothing new. I'm very poor. So I didn't even finish this sofa, and I have nothing that to rely on, and they are killing my children because of the telephones, killing my children because of the computer, killing my children because of the TVs, killing my children because of the treasury, moving here because of all those things. Obama moved here because of reason of this telephone that I'm recording here. He moved here for the reason my computer. He moved here for the reason my TV. He moved here for all the resources. I don't have a car. I use the bus. He moved here for the reason treasury. The treasury of which he didn't even give me anything in the account. The little money that I saved was almost like 12,000, 1200 something since that year, since 20, 2015 until now. That account, he finished it and he called it treasury of the United States. And that is not money of the United States, it was my own money. I'm on disability. The money I rely on was my little saving, and I help people from it. So what happened? He finished that treasury, but I trust the United States is not a poor country. It is mis mismanagement. Somebody don't want to hire me in a position, but kept stealing the position in me by inserting the dick that tend to be a snake in me, abusing me at night. Something grow out, something that I do not call, is it an akanda or something? It's growing out from the wall inside me and curl on me inside. I feel something like inside me. And when I found that, I take the tissue of paper and insert it inside my cervix and cover myself in blanket. It is amazing. Even if I put the blanket, even if I put my underwear, even if I put the pants, it's still inserting. I have to sit down all night because of those abuses. And then my son will be quiet. When the morning before the sun rises, that's when they kill him. This morning they kill him. And he will be there all day. He cannot eat. They say that they are drinking his blood, pure blood. He cannot drink. They say they want him to be drinking the food. He tell me, Mama, when you're eating, I feel the spirit of eating in me, like I'm, I'm, I have something. And so this is the story. This is what happened. I have been abused by United States President and self care of South Sudan, the baby country that was signed, and, and the father of my own children. And too many women of Sudanese, South Sudanese, the woman who was from South Sudanese called Ayangol, the one who eat the meat of human being with her husband, went and informed Obama that I'm a telephone, went and informed self that I'm a telephone and computer and the TV. Now I'm being abused and I have no security. This is what's happening to me. And the kind of war that I'm in it is a very bad war. People eat the meat of human being and stay invisible in the wall. People eat the meat of human, drink the blood of human being and meat of human being and stay invisible. You can hear their voices in Walmart. In business places, you can hear them talking to people. 
Obama will be talking, frankly, to people. He's treasury. He's the treasury of the United States. He's the treasury. He's the treasury of the United States. I'm very embarrassed all, all the time. When I go to Walmart, they will steal other people's stuff. They will steal from businesses, taking clothing, taking underwear, taking stuff. Uh, when I go to shopping or food, the same thing happening. They are not relying on something. They think that they want to rely on me, and I have no money. South Sudan is a country where the self care have bankrupt. I don't even know where he put the money of oil. He ate the money of oil with Obama and self -Mapok. These are the drunkard people, dictators, who are just bankrupt. The baby nation, the baby nation has not been paid, and the baby nation think that I have to pay them. They kept abusing me, saying that I'm a treasure, and I tell them I have nothing. Nobody told me that I'm treasured in United, in United States and I don't have no money to pay United States or even South Sudan. You need to leave me alone. You are abusing me. These are the stories that happen. But I will keep posting on, the, uh, on this story and feed you back. Thanks. God bless. One God, but there's no another God. Bless be. Bless be.